Okay, we're gonna move on to Capricorn. Capricorn energy, we're nearly there. I always feel a bit, oh, I'm nearly finished. <laughs> so cool. All right, Capricorn energy. Um. Oh, that's so cute. Thanks very much. I really appreciate you being here. And just in time, we're nearly at your sign as well. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. The Six of Pentacles. So there is this knowing for you, Capricorn. There is this knowing. It's like you're putting the work into something. You're understanding that um, the energies that you put into, you're going to be receiving. So there is this balance between the things we give and the things we receive. It's like an energetic um, relationship that you have with a situation that whatever you put in, you're going to see it reflected back to you in some way. So let's have a Four swords, yeah, four swords, because you're, um, you're, I think you're like, you're tired of being in some situation or something that makes you feel uncomfortable with the four swords here. It's like, there's a, a mindset that's been around you for so long, an energy that's been around for so long, and you're just maybe just tired of it at this point. So you're putting in some work into something to, to supersede the way this feels or to supersede this mindset. Maybe something that um, has been projected onto you, maybe a certain way people have seen you, or um, a certain situation that somebody would like love to contain you in. And you can see the four of swords here. There's like a little person there and all the swords are around. So it, you know, there is this sense of containment here. So you're just working, you're working your way out of. Yeah, the king of wands. Because you want to attract passion. You want to, it's almost like you're you're being more decisive about these things because you're wanting to attract attract certain energies in energies that speak about action drive you know authority let's move there's a leo um leo sagittarius and aries energy so you could it could be what you're emoting at the moment right really you're projecting yourself out there this could be the energies that you're attracting because of the work that you're putting in let's get some clarification Oh, of swords, yeah, stability and security, um, you know, wanting to create something that is stable long term, you know, something that is literally a result of the things that you've put in, you know, it's, it's almost as though it's your reward, you know, you've got this reward for all, for the actions that you put in, but it's something that pertains to your security and the, the actions that you've done. So well done Capricorn, okay, Get some more clarification. Okay, three cards here. So we've got the, the Knight King of Cups and we've got the Seven of Cups. And we've got the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this speaks to making sure that the right energies around you, like if you need certain help, you know, if you need, um, if you need, if you need emotional stability, because it's overwhelming. I feel like you're putting all this action in and there's a pressure behind things. So you've been doing you've been doing this for a long time, but there's also, and you're aware of these energies, emotional energies around you, but you've got to make sure that they are the right energies around you with the three of pentacles, um, making sure that you, uh, those people that are around are for you. They, they help spur you on, they help um, you reach your challenges, your goals, you know, just having the right, energy that is also acknowledging your want for security and they're pushing you forward okay capricorn let's get some angel cards for you oh 
One more second. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay. Angelic protection. Yes, Capricorn. I think you, you, you should, you should um, be told that because I feel like Capricorns rely so much on themselves. It's almost as they, they feel like not, nothing else or no one else can help them. But understanding that we are all connected to a sympathy in life. And so, you know, as long as we stay in tune to those things, we are always going to be protected by, by what is for us. Yeah, take charge and action. <laughs> this is definitely what you've been doing. I feel I feel like this is what you've been doing for a, you know quite a while. So I think mean, keep staying in that resonance, keep staying in that energy. It's doing well for you. It will attract what you need. Yeah, vulnerability and freedom. I think this again. This is um, when when I was speaking about uh, making sure you have the right people around you, allowing yourself to be able to show your heart to those who will will not take advantage of of that space. You may won't take advantage of your vulnerabilities. Sometimes you'll need to have help. Um, just even knowing yourself that you need help sometimes is okay. But essentially, once you tap into knowing, oh, okay, I. I I feel, I feel I need help with that. It releases you. You don't have to feel like, oh my God, I'm tied to a certain energy. It just releases you and lets you know that you can count on other people. <laughs> All right, Capcom. 